The Beaverton Arts Foundation just awarded art scholarships to 17 local students being recognized for their achievements in the arts. The money is going to help these students invest in their futures, their educations, and eventually bring more of the arts back into the community. Yeah, this morning we're talking with one of the scholarship recipients, Rez Radona, a senior at the Arts and Communication Magnet Academy, or ACMA. Good morning, Rez. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us first just a little bit about yourself and your artwork. Yeah, so I'm a filmmaker. Uh, recently, I've been doing films more geared towards uh, experiences that I've had, um, you know, mental health, all that stuff. Um, but uh, most of my work uh, has been with like friends, uh, just some silly kind of films thrown together to really get my uh, editing style. Um, you know. <laughs> yeah, that, that's so cool. So uh, I know you were one of the 17 students here um, selected for this scholarship. Uh, what does winning that scholarship mean to you? It means a lot. Um, the school that I've, uh, I've actually am going to Cornish is really expensive and every penny counts to get me to the school that I really want to go to. Um, so in the fall when I do go to Cornish, all the scholarship money will be going towards my tuition and getting more art to me. Wow. That is so cool. exciting. And so you, you just mentioned you're going to Cornish. What are your other plans after that? Uh, I really hope to really inspire other trans artists. Uh, I realized through my work that, um, you know, there's not a lot of trans people in my field and the way that I um, <laughs> really want to um, help other people is to give them representation and to be a vessel for um, people that want to go into this field. Oh, absolutely. I know we're, we're watching one of your films right now while we talk. Um, it's, it's so cool to see what you've been creating. You know, I think access to the arts is such a challenge for, mm -hmm. for all of our students this day and age. Um, what, what do you want people to know about just why it's so important to support uh, programs like this? I think it's really important to give people the voice and the platform uh, and the space to be creative and to fail at their own pace and to really learn from their mistakes. Uh, I know through my schooling, um, having the space to make things that I just want to create was a great way for me to really cultivate my style and my editing um, skills and, uh, you know, teamwork and all that stuff. Mm. So giving artists the materials needed to create their work is really important. Yeah, and, and you're a senior. How are you doing with all the uh, online, you know, distance learning and, and not being there for that last part of your high school experience? It's, <laughs> it's really sad. Mm -hmm. um, I really thought at this point I would be um, with my friends and, uh, you know, getting those last couple months of my senior year out. But, um, you know, we, we do have that community and I think it's important that like uh, classes are still going and keeps me busy, me busy and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have Have you found um, any extra time to create, or has this been helpful for you at all in in filmmaking? Having this stay home right now. Uh, it's given me time to edit more. Uh, I realized that with school and, you know, balancing schoolwork and art, I don't get to edit films that I'd like to as much as I want. So now with this extra free time, I can make the graduation video and I can make a class, the class film I've been meaning to edit um, that hopefully will be out um, by the end of the year, or at least yeah. um, the yeah. school year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So cool. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Rez, and best of luck to you at Cornish. That sounds so exciting. And uh, if you know an aspiring young artist that may want to apply for the next round of scholarships, we will post a link on coin.com.